Welcome back to Undertale. Let's continue to the right and see if we can find Undying and fight her and possibly spare her. Probably if we can. It's an odd looking telescope that we can't look through this time. And for some reason Sans is here. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Are you gonna like say it was free and make me pay money now? No? Okay. What am I looking at? <laughs> Did you just like paint red all over it? Or do I see like Papyrus now? And he's about to capture me? I'm kinda scared. No? Okay. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Oh my god, man. Nah, we don't need this right now. Hey, it's Onion Man. Hello, Onion Man. Or maybe it's a Luma. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Um, now I have weird stuff on my eye. Oh my god, it was one of those joke telescopes that leaves weird stuff on your eye. I guess we can't tell him about the weird stuff on our eye. Hmm, what's over here? Oh my god, it's one of those things where you don't know which way to go first. So we check this one then? Oh, it's nice cream. I want nice cream. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy a nice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free nice cream. Sounds like a good deal. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Well, let's get some nice creams. I don't remember how much nice creams heal compared to... Um... Bicycles. So nice cream is 15. I think bicycles are 11 each. Yeah, so bicycles give you 22, but it's 11. Is it? Okay, we bought one nice cream. I think that's good. And we still have space to pick up stuff. So now we know that was the wrong way. What about over here? This is probably also the wrong way, since there's that duck that we can't touch. So let's go this way. This water is so mystical. It's so cool, but it makes me so scared that there's going to be a really annoying puzzle soon. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Do I have to see it again? No. I guess the other half is on this one. Huh, just one, but it's kind of stupid. I wish for spaghetti! It's a maze, no! <laughs> hey, it smells small. Good thing you can just like do this when it smells small. Okay. What is this thing? Grass. Is that all you can do on this part? You can't walk out of the top of the thing. Uh, I guess I'll take it. I hope I'm not stealing belay shoes from somebody who actually needed it. Belay shoes. Attack 7 weapon. Okay. What is ours right now? 5. Uh, we might as well equip it even though we're not really using them. Maybe there'll be a boss at some point where we have to fight down to like no health. Well, this makes me want to go back to the box and put away my other weapon. But I won't do that because I don't feel like walking back up there. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wants to know, her opinion of you is very... murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing, a bandana, because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. Nope, I did not because I didn't have any other clothes. 
You're such a smart cookie. Well, actually, I have a bandage. But, well, come on, Papyrus. This way, you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Aww. I feel like he actually was trying to help us, actually. But I just didn't change clothes because I didn't have better clothes. This is the guy we gotta clean. Oh, I just realized his name is Washia. Like, he washes ya. Yeah. I miss a lot of puns in this game. Like the one about Toriel. Green! Green! Bye, Washia. I also realized that I didn't check when this episode started, so I'm gonna look at the Steam overlay. Oh, it's been like 7 minutes so far, so like 10 to 15 more minutes should do. Let's talk to this. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. Oh, this is responding to the person who thought their wish was stupid, I guess. It probably wasn't that stupid. Even if it was spaghetti, it's not that dumb. Unless it was like, murder everybody was the wish, then it's probably dumb. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. I thought that the person was wishing for the power to take human souls. But it could still be that. What is this? It's moving. Well, I'm scared. It gives this room a really confusing look, where you can't tell if you're walking or not. Is that... is that that onion guy's mom? He looks like the onion guy. Hey there. Noticed you were... here. It is an onion. I'm Onion-san. Onion-san, you here? Are you... I think you're a good guy. You look so cool. I can't talk to you though. You're visiting a waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah! Me too, it's my big favorite! Ah, Super cute eyes! Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... <laughs> hey! That's okay, it beats moving to the city! And living in a crowded aquarium! Like all my friends did! I think you're too big to live in an aquarium, man. And the aquarium's full a anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? He says you hear so much. Hey, there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall! I like onion sod. <laughs> I saw your baby back there. Am I at waterfall yet? Shyron hides in the corner but somehow encounters you anyway. Ah. Let's check. Tone deaf. She's too ashamed to sing her deadly song. Ah. That's sad. She can't even attack. Oh, well now she can. Siren pretends to be a pop idol. Um, let's smile at them? Maybe that'll encourage them. You smile, you ask to see Siren smile too. Hey, they don't have to smile if they don't want to though. Siren gets quieter. In the corner, Aaron nods his head approvingly. Dude. Aaron is here too. Oh, Aaron, Siren. I guess it's like Siren. I didn't think about that. Okay, that didn't help. Let's conduct. You wave your arms widely. You are now vulnerable to electric attacks. Hum, hum. Well, she is humming. Maybe we should hum too. Whoops. Wrong page. Taryn thinks about doing karaoke by herself. I would love to leave, but I... Well, I could flee if this doesn't work. And leave her alone. Oh, I hum a sad song and Taryn follows my melody. Oh, look, she's normal now. Sorry, 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 me, sorry, me. 
That was a beautiful song. Sharon seems much more comfortable singing along. I see, they want to sing, but they were scared to sing by themselves. Well, I have taught you how to sing. The northern room hides a great treasure. Does it? It's a piano. X quit. So, X is A. Okay, A is leave the piano. And then we have... I, I'm guessing it's leave the piano. Because escape is quit the game. But we have circle, left, down, right, up. Let's read this first. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. I don't hear it. There's a piano here. Play it. Okay. Circle, left, down, right, up. So down, left, right, up. I don't know how to play circle. Oh, circle is... Okay, left, down, right, up. Oh, these are the different things. So we need to know what the song is before we can do it. Oh, is it the song that the, the Shiren was playing, maybe? We'll go back to that in a second. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. An incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. Like Papyrus. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. Really? If only for a few moments. A human could, ab could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. Huh, that's interesting. So if I do kill, or if I did kill Toriel and Papyrus, could I like absorb their soul? I'm, I'm confused. Like there's a song down the corridor. Oh, wait, okay, this is to play the note. Okay, the notes are in order, we just don't know what the song is. Down what corridor? This corridor? Maybe if we leave and come back, we'll get to fight that enemy again. And actually hear what the song is. Or if we walk around, like, aimlessly enough. Okay, let's keep going. Maybe it's down this corridor is what they meant. This. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. I'm sorry. I don't have any water. Please take one. Is there going to be an umbrella monster in here? Can I take another one? Okay. Maybe I can give the umbrella to this guy. Maybe he wants to be dry. Is this the song? Wait, what part of the song was it? Let's walk closer. Okay, so it's like D A G D F D F something like that. Let's just try it and if we don't know we can listen to it again. I guess it's F sharp actually. Was that correct? I think I remembered it wrong. Let's let's try again. That's what it sounded like to me. Oh, maybe it wasn't enough notes. They said eight, right? I feel like I'm missing one of the notes. Okay, let's try it again. I think there was a G at the end or something. 
I don't remember what I played the first time. <laughs> oh, it was correct that time. Okay, let's get in here. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Yeah. I'm carrying too many dogs. Am I? Oh, what? There's a dog in my inventory. Annoying dog. A little white dog is fast asleep. Well, I, I feel like I shouldn't get rid of it. So why don't we, um... Use a bandage. Can we get it now? What? So, even if you have... So you can't pick this up if you have a dog in your inventory? Well, I guess we, we can probably come back to that later. Maybe we'll find a box to put the dog into. That kind of just looked like a rubber ball anyway, so... So do we need another umbrella? Okay, let's go. See, now we're dry, it's amazing. Are these oil slicks? I have no idea. Oh, maybe this guy could use an umbrella. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go! Oh, maybe he asked you- he's not even standing under the umbrella. Here, follow me more closely. Or maybe he doesn't care about the rain. And and I do. Maybe it does damage. I don't know. Man, Undying is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was gonna beat me up. <laughs> Can't go this way. I don't think she'll beat us up. We can win her over with our actions. Oh, you're not catching up. So one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. That's pretty cool that your king went to your school. I feel like that would never actually happen in like a different game. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. It's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Oh good, well maybe she won't hurt me then. Except she already did, but she probably didn't know she was hurting me. So are these still the rocks, or are they actually stars? Scraggy? Why are you just standing there? Alright, let's go. I'd like to go in the castle. Oh look, another thing of umbrellas. Do you want to get your own umbrella? Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Put up my umbrella? Oh, like, put it in here. That's called putting back, not putting up. But, I want you to come too. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me, I always find a way to get through. <laughs> Aww. I could have helped you up and then probably made it up here somehow. My poor friend. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attack suddenly and without mercy. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and our, us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust. The serene sound of a distant music box, which I don't hear, it fills you with determination and save points. 
Okay. Well, I guess this is a good place to stop. Who knows when the next save point will be. See you next time.